Oh, mercy, what is happening here? Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where... Oh, you really want to go? Do you really want to go? Yeah, you really want to go? I might be an Ultra Iron Wolf, but I'm going to throw some freaking hands if you don't leave me alone. <laughs> uh, we are here in Ultra Iron Wolf with Vixie, who is currently beating the living snot out of a German Shepherd that decided to jump her in her sleep, apparently. Um, yeah, we're here at this elk calf carcass. Yeah, you stay out of here, Roddy. Uh, with Sulfur 221M, our prospective mate, and all manner of shenanigans are going down. Oh my goodness, Sulfur does not like actual foxes. He seems he seems fine with Vixie, even though she is uh, very much named for the foxes. You want to go? You want to go? Really? Yeah, I took half your health. I'll take the other half too if you don't get. Oh my goodness. Well, I that was a startling way to wake up, but. I, I suppose we will sleep the rest of the night. Sulfur is very growly boy today. <laughs> um, he's not fond of all these competitors trying to steal, and neither is... Uh, oh, there he goes. There's several foxes here, actually. Well, maybe that's a sign of good luck for Vixie, but it is getting dark. We are full on uh, our sleep meter, pretty much, but I think we're going to go ahead and actually let these guys rest one more time because Vixie's still low on health, and when you're playing Ultra Iron Wolf, that's not the best thing. You really want to make sure you fill that up, so we'll let these guys get a little bit more chance to rest and catch up with them in the morning. Oh my goodness, never mind, I guess. Oh, I guess it is morning, but uh, yeah, the, the, the freaking dogs are back. It's just this shepherd and this Rottweiler that will not leave us alone. I think I hear coyotes too. Are they barking at the fox? Look at them. Look at them barking at that fox over there. Goodness gracious. Yeah, you're about to have you're about to have a a bigger issue here. Yeah, you pick a fight with that fox, I might just have to fight you. <laughs> uh, anyway, what a chaotic start to this. Vixie's feeling a little bit better now that it is morning. She's had adequate chance to rest, but she and Sulphur still need to decide if they're going to officially become mates or not. They have not finished their courtship. Yeah, he's, he's gonna... Or are you thinking you're gonna eat? No, you're not. You get... Oh, Sulphur's jumping in. <laughs> I keep trying to talk and I just can't. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, they still need to decide if they're going to finish their courtship. And I think we might have to do that here today. In fact, they they have been, uh, have been doing a little bonding here even now. In between getting interrupted by the constant dogs running around causing chaos. Sulphur's kind of a cranky lad, I'm realizing. <laughs> He's a bit, a uh, bit feisty towards all these creatures. There's a fox right here. Uh, I don't think Vixie minds them too much, but perhaps these two should get a move on. There's not much left of this carcass. We'll get one last bite to eat, and we'll actually head them set, have them set off back in this direction up towards over here, because this is where we're going to want to establish a territory if we do have them stay together. And, and I think Vixie would like to. These, these two are... Kind of opposites in some ways. I mean, Vixie's very feisty but outgoing for the most part. She can definitely be a sassy thing. She is not afraid of picking fights, and to be fair, and that that it does seem to be something they have in in common. Whereas Sulfur, though, can be a little bit more gruff and growly by the look of it. <laughs> um, so a little bit of an opposites attract situation here, and another. Elk herd and wolves? Who is this? There's a wolf over there. There's a wolf over there hunting. Who are you? I can't even tell who this is. We might get a sense for. Oh, Sulphur's. Never mind. Sulphur's picked a fight. Who are you? Stardust. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah, you guys better get. You guys better get. <laughs> oh, no. I can't even bite. These, these are potential prospective... No, they're not. They're females. Never mind. Okay, then I'm especially gonna beat you up. No, you stop trying to steal my mate. You get out of here. I mean, he's not my mate yet, but he will be. He will be. Don't you hear? You get... You get... You ain't taking my future mate. <laughs> are you good, Sulphur? It's okay. I fought wolves a lot tougher than them in the past. Many times over. And they'll stay out if they know what's good for them. 
Yeah? Yeah? You really want to go? Didn't think so. All right. <laughs> Vixie can't take 10 steps without picking a fight, apparently. Oh my goodness gracious. I was just going to observe them. I was curious, but no, they had to start a fight. Uh, it's fine, though. It's fine. Vixie has fought many wolves much tougher than them and emerged triumphant, even against innumerable odds. But while these guys head back in the direction of Vixie's ancestral territory, we wanted to stay over there, but we kind of had to run halfway across the map to find food last time. So I think we'll, we'll start working on heading our way back and see what chaos these two inevitably find along the way, because there does not seem to be a moment to slow down here. You know, one of the other things that we probably want to start working on, too, is finding some dens in this area, because, well, this might be a little bit lower down, but we just want to start discovering some things if we have the chance, if we bump into any of them, because we, we don't know entirely where we want to set up yet. Well, I mean, we know the general area. We want to be on this side of the map, but it'd be good to find out what dens are even in the area to know what options are even available to us. So that's something Vixie should probably start doing is sniffing about and uh, figuring out where exactly her options lie. All right, we are starting to head back to about where we want to be. We still want to get a little further north than this, and actually this territory is not uh, not super well claimed, so we might want to howl it down a little bit, because I think we can sleep safely here if we can successfully unclaim it. We can't claim it for ourselves yet, but we can uh, we can at least <laughs> whittle down uh, Lucky Pack's hold on it a little bit here. Yeah, that's right. We are going to unofficially take this away from you so that we can uh, find a spot to sleep. Did that actually whittle it down? Uh-oh, maybe we can't do that past a certain point, actually. No. Oh. Okay, I guess we can actually unclaim it past 10%, I don't think. It looks like not. All right, well, let's hope that they don't uh, don't come poking around to bother us, because I think we're just going to curl up here under this bridge if it lets us. There we go. And take another little snooze, at least until morning here. Why have I done this? The camera is going to hate me forever. Uh, we'll let Vixie get a little nap, though, hopefully heal up the rest of our health, and uh, then continue setting out further into the mountains of Lost River in the morning. Yep, yep, I thought we were about to have a problem. All right, it's these fools again. Hey, how did you get a bite on me? I didn't say you could do that. No, no, excuse. Well, we're doing a lot of damage at least. We just gotta watch that we don't have a ton done to us. Excuse me, get out of here. Yeah, Sulphur's joining in. Oh no, Vixie's stamina is gone. Can I get a drink while I'm here? I would like to. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little drink. Yeah, you guys get out. They're actually very not intimidated, and I'm floating down the river. No, no, excuse. All right, we got to keep a close eye on our health here. Get out. You know, I wonder. If we duck into the water here, you probably can't grab us, can you? Ha ha, float downstream. <laughs> Oh, but they're all gonna both go after Sulfur now. That's not so good. All right. Ah, great. Are we gonna have to leave again? We don't have the stamina for this is the problem. We still don't have the stamina for this is the problem. I right, get off. All right, we might actually have to run away. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. We sh you guys should be more scared of us. Yeah, if you cross this border here, hey, why don't you run through the bison? Maybe that'll change your mind on the matter. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, you know what? Actually, we shouldn't be running sulfur through the bison. That's a very bad idea. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sometimes Vixie's um, unique manner of fighting are not the safest thing in the world. Oh, my goodness. One of these days, we're going to beat the living snot out of y'all, and then you'll take us seriously. <laughs> but until we've actually established our own territory, I don't think they're going to uh, put much stock in the idea of uh, paradispersal serving an actual threat. Yeah, we're going to howl too. You didn't win that. You didn't win that. I hope you realize that. We, we've made a tactical retreat, and that's all. And we'll be back to kick your butts, because you've taken some of my ancestral territory, and I would like it back. Listen to him standing there and howling. The absolute nerve. At least they're leaving. 
Well, Sulfur, I suppose we should continue on our journey now that those fools are out of the way. They're gonna walk off, and hopefully here, yeah, where the wind is in our, the wind is direction is in our favor, so maybe we can actually just keep heading this direction and slip right by them. We'll have to see. They might run right back. I don't know where these bison are either. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. Maybe we've given them the slip. Oh, did they catch on? No, you're different and alone. A 3F. Yeah, you think you're going to cause us problems. Oh, goodness, we're already down to half health, though, is the issue here. All right, maybe with the two of us, though. With the two with the two of us working together. No, nope, you get off of him. You leave him alone. You leave him alone. And ideally, he will uh, assist Vixie here so that she does not take too much damage. Nope. You can get out of here. Gosh, we take so much even just biting, though. <laughs> that is the problem with accurate. It's not quite so... Hey! I can't... Why can I not bite? It's not quite so easy to just bully the stranger wolves. You would think she would want to leave, but I think she's noticed that Vixie is a little bit smaller and a little bit weaker. As much as Vixie would argue that point... Why can I not bite you, you hacker? Let me bite you. Stand still. Stand still and let me bite you. Yeah, jerk! Get over here! You would think that she would be a little bit more... more keen to leave, but I guess she does have more health than either one of us does. Oi! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Yeah, this may not have been the best idea in the world. Okay. This might have to teach Vixie a lesson about picking too many fights. Oh my goodness. Alright, Sulfur... Does he have a leg injury? Is that what's happening here? All right, we're gonna have to retreat. Vixie very much does not want to admit that um, as much as she would like to, she really shouldn't just go around picking every single battle she encounters. Why is there every predator in the universe here as well? And it, to be fair, it seems like Sulphur has held much the same opinion. He's also picked quite a few fights, even in the short time that we've known him. Um, also, I'm gonna pee in your territory just to be a nuisance. Did she stop chasing us? She might have. You good, bud? Yeah, sorry about that limp. I really thought we could take her. If we hadn't already been hurt from that other fight, I think we would have been. He doesn't seem... he doesn't seem too distressed about it, though. I think, um... He was picking that fight as much as she was. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this... This duo could be a bit... Okay, we gotta leave again. This duo could be a bit of a disastrous one. I suppose we shouldn't stop to flirt until we're out of the territory, though, huh, Vixie? I don't even know where out of the territory is, though. Just you wait until we can properly claim territory. And don't you actually bite him. If you actually try to bite him, I'm biting you. Do we leave? We lift. All right. Yeah, we'll be back. You'll regret getting in between us and our home. We'll be back. Don't you worry about it. Is she just... She's venturing out of her territory. What are you doing? Yeah, now you should be properly scared. You better run. You get... You get... Why are you running through this territory? You, you, why are you wandering? Look at you, she's wandering straight out of her territory. Yeah, you better run home. All right, well, whatever the case. Uh, we chased her off, not that we really needed to, but I think Vixie feels a little bit more vindicated now. Oh, poor Sulphur's limping, though. We should probably take another rest here. Yeah, good, bud. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of fights to pick once they actually take us seriously. Okay, well, two minor injuries healed at least, and one major one unhealed. We took a rest through it the night there. Oh, buddy, that does not look comfortable. <laughs> he has uh, got a log sticking up through his back there. Uh, unfortunately, though, Sulfur is still limping. He seems about as keen as Vixie does to get back up there, though. It's just a matter of actually being able to mark her own territory, so... I don't know, bud. What do you say? 
Is it about time we conclude our own courtship here? Are you as willing as I am to go take back what I've lost? We'll have to see. I think we're close to them being able to make a decision. I just don't know if we've hunted quite enough. But you know what? We made every other battle work. I mean, at least it's worked and that nobody's died, right? We, we figured it out. Okay, yeah, I guess he agrees. <laughs> All right, Sulfur, let's go ahead, conclude this courtship. Now, we've gotten a number of name suggestions from y'all for this, but one that stood out was, is that it could be kind of fun to call this guy Todd after, of course, the, uh, the Fox characters in The Fox and the Hound. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. We've got a family snapshot, actually, and there he is. And there's an end nearby, apparently. All right, winter is here, and finally, yes, we can establish a territory. All right, let's 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 go ahead and um, we will uh, check on check on Todd here. I think he's still feeling a little sore, but finally, we're gonna want to go further up, aren't we? Uh, we can at least start peeing on things to um, diminish the Lucky Packs claim, and I, that is a very Vixie thing to do, is to just mark territory everywhere, even if she doesn't necessarily want to keep it. She's just gonna, like, steal their territory. She's not gonna let them, um, keep their territory, because they've been a bit of a menace to her, so she's gonna be a menace right back. Yes, we're, we're taking this. This is ours now. Um, even if we don't keep it, uh, you cannot stop us from making our way through your territory. There we go. Now, hopefully, they'll leave us the heck alone. Now, the tricky thing about moving northward is that it can be hard to find a good den. However, it is quite easy to find territory to steal from the other packs and be a nuisance. It does seem like there's a den near here, though, so we better find the ones that we're able to. I think there's a few. I think there's maybe two or three of them up here. So we're gonna poke around and look for those before we totally start establishing our territory. Vixie is from the high Northlands, pretty much up by the hinterlands. Um, but in order to find a good den site, she may have to settle for something a little bit southward, at least for the early part of the year. Well, oh, here's one. So we know that at the least there's a den here, so we should probably start marking some of this. I imagine we'll at least want this in our territory, if not at its center. Now that's a familiar sight, Midnight Mountain. I think Vixie is pretty used to having grown up in its shadow. It's been a little while since she's seen it, though. Is there? Oh, wow, you can see way up on the slopes. That's where Lucky Pack has put their own scent post. Well, I think we can do one better. I think there's a spot that we can put our scent post that all the world will know that we are not to be trifled with. It would seem the mountain's summit here is actually in Van Winkle territory, but that's not an issue. We want to take territory from them too. So why don't we do a bit of howling and see? That's the mountain range over there. We can actually barely see Blades Peak. Uh, this is the rest of the range that Midnight Mountain is in, but this, I think, is the perfect place to put our scent post where the winds will carry that, uh, that, that scent far and wide across the world and let everyone know that this is our territory and we are not to be messed with. Not by Lucky Pack, not by Van Winkle, not by anyone else. So let's go ahead, we'll stake our claim here as soon as we're able to. You can just barely see the distant steam from Little Yellowstone too. I don't know if that's gonna be in our territory, but it'll be near it. And we will put our send posts, this is gonna be a pain to get back to, but we'll put it way up on the, uh, the top of the peak here because Vixie is that extra. <laughs> She's gonna do that. And uh, we'll, we'll leave it here as a strong warning to the rest of the packs. Oh, and it looks like there's actually some Van Winkle territory that shouldn't be too hard to claim once we finish sliding all the way back down the slope of Midnight Mountain, that is. Winter is definitely a challenging time of year for a wolf as small as Vixie. The deep snow is, uh... Yeah, just about up to her snout. <laughs> uh, and she has to plow her way through it, but I don't think she is to be deterred by that. She's a very stubborn wolf who's not about to be put off by a little bit of snow. What is this? 
Oh, this is... Oh, a fox. Hello, friend. Hello, oh, sulfur. <laughs> or not, he's not sulfur anymore, Todd. I'm gonna have to get used to calling him Todd now. Goodness. He is a feisty one, but there is a den nearby, too, by the look and smell of it. Somewhere over here, maybe? Oh, yeah, down here it's gotten a lot brighter, so somewhere in this area pretty close to it. Sometimes they're hard to sniff out in the winter time, but I smell a scent coming from over here. Oh, yes. This is, I think, one of the new dens, actually. This is just added in the current public beta, which is now available. Uh, it's right here. This may actually be the northernmost den. I think we might want to actually pick this new one because I think it's a little bit farther up than any of the other dens we're going to run across. That said, it's starting to get a little bit dark, so we may want to take a small break and... That's a coyote. For a second, it looked kind of odd to me. <laughs> we may want to take a small break and take some time to rest because night is falling. Probably gonna have to hunt tomorrow, but we also want to make sure that Todd gets the chance to heal of his injury, and the best time to do that is gonna be while he's high on health and not currently hurting from something else. So we'll let these two curl up in the snow. Vixie just totally disappears like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, and I'll let them get some sleep. Well, morning is here, but uh, we are getting pretty hungry, so we might want to see if we can find something to eat. Oh, there's a maraca over here somewhere. Interesting. And stranger wolves. Excuse me! What do you mean they took a bunch of our territory? These frickin' jerks. All right, we're gonna have to go claim that back. It looks like there is a scent post over here, too. But Vixie's big mad. No, it's time to go mercilessly bully the Lucky Pack because they will not leave us alone. What in the heck? Well, I smell both Stranger Wolves and Elk in this direction, so I suppose we'll head over here. Maybe we can at least get something to eat, but uh, you know what? If we have some butts to kick too, then I guess I can't complain about that. If we enter another pack's territory here, which we might, then I suppose we'll just have to make sure we mark it really quick so that they are a little bit more inclined to flee from us as we reclaim our rightful home here. But hopefully the copper herd is not too far off? Hopefully. I suppose we'll find out. Oh there, I see their scent trail finally. About dang time, alright. And the herd is already on the run? Well, not gonna complain about that. Goodness, though, it's gonna be hard to catch up to them. Oh boy, alright, well we gotta stop here anyway and reclaim this before Lucky Pack decides to uh, get their tails in a knot about it. Look at the, the entire trampled area of snow, too. I'm just gonna mark over this really quickly so that we can continue our hunt in peace. Oh yeah, you guys don't like that? Well, you should have thought twice before trying to steal territory from me. This was my home first, you hackers, and I'm taking it back. All right, well, the herd is actually a little spooked by the look of it, so I don't know what has got them so uh, freaked out over here, but whatever the case may be, Gotta still look for a young one, I think. Oh my goodness, and the darn stamina is just gonna be the worst. We're fairly hungry at the moment, though, so we can't afford to not hunt. We really need to do this right about now. Oh, a bunch of them went down, goodness! I did see a calf fall. They seem to be slipping and sliding around in the snow, and there's a den near here, okay. Was this calf one that fell? Well, we can give it a little nibble nonetheless. Oh my goodness, right back into Lucky Pack territory, because of course they did. All right, let's switch this one. No, nope, we're still not quite close enough. We are really going deep into Lucky Pack territory now, though. Man, oh, oh, bite. Injured? Nope, not very injured. Oh, and I see problems on the horizon, perhaps. Oh no, those are just dogs. That's fine. I thought you were Lucky Pack. I thought you were... No, even Lucky Pack's not an actual threat, but you know what I mean. I thought you were somebody more important. Oh, dear. What do you mean Lucky Pack is still here? Ah, are we going to have to fall back again? I don't think I'm going to be able to claim this as the issue. 
All right, if I run over here and howl, can I still make progress? Nope, they're gonna cut me off, aren't they? Oh, they're both attacking Todd. Nope, that doesn't, uh, that didn't help, did it? And I can't probably mark territory in a fight? Nope, all right, we gotta move it. Oh, lucky pack, my beloved. Out of my way, dogs. We're gonna run back to our own territory. Yeah, that's right, you hackers better get, excuse me! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Get off of him. 1M? Yeah, you're about to be one dead if you don't <laughs> if you don't knock it off. Yeah, you better run. You come back in my territory, I'm gonna take that tail of yours off. Keep it as a trophy. Get out! Get out! We may still actually be able to do that hunt then. We just gotta do a little bit of tactical territory marking. Make sure that we, uh... Make sure Lucky knows who's boss here. Yeah, that's right. You better get. You better get. Oh my goodness, and Todd is double injured again. They just won't leave him alone. Oh boy. We are very much at risk of developing a feud with pretty much everyone at this rate, but uh, Lucky is really doing their best to push into the top spot, let me tell you. Are near this den too, I've noticed. But I think this is still southwards of the other ones. Yeah, by quite a bit, actually. Okay, so I think we did find the northernmost den. The fortunate thing, too, is there's one that's not that far off from it. But what I'm really curious about now is this elk herd. They are somewhere up ahead. Where the heck do they go? That's deer. I saw them moving in this direction. You know, I'm gonna also track down and uh, grab this hair if I can, because we're a little hungry. And if this goes poorly, we might actually need the food. Goodness gracious, the snow is gonna make the hunt so brutal. I'm pretty sure you're slower than usual in the winter time, and that is actually heck with an ultra iron wolf, I'm realizing. I don't think Maple ever had to deal with the deep snow, did she? <laughs> yeah, uh, Vixie, I don't think likes winter all that much. <laughs> but I think, okay, there's the herd. I want to see if we can spook them back into our territory, because that's going to be to our benefit, like, further up into our actual territory. If we can mark some along the way, and just in general make sure that, um... That, that we've got these guys moving in, in a direction toward our territory, then even if the hunt takes a really long time, it shouldn't be as big of a deal. Honestly. Even if we can get a bite on one of- Oh, Todd, watch out! If we can get a bite on one of them now, it might not be such a bad thing. We just have to be confident we're not going to get kicked by the mom. All right, having them on the run maybe before the best, because they're actually going in a decent direction here. Oh, you've fallen, but you are an adult. Oh. Are you weakened? Hang on a hot second. Are you actually weakened? Gotta be careful if she spins around. I think you are. She looks like she's stopping when we get close to her. I think she might be worth taking a bite out of. She is an adult, but even so, we also kind of have to hurry up our butts here because if we don't, we might start to run out of stamina, especially as we get hungrier. It's not doing us any favors. And Todd probably does not have the energy to catch up. All right, well, let's see if we can. Oh, or this baby that fell. Are you worth going after? Maybe. Whoa. That was the mother, I think. Or this baby? You are very worth going after. Okay. This is the one. This is the one. Not worth going after the full-grown one, even if she's weak. Well, we've got the baby right here. We just need one or two more good bites. Oh. Ouch! That was 119 damage, but we did get our elk. Okay, all right. Cut it a little closer than I would have liked, but it's fine. Now at least we've got food. There is a cougar here thinking that uh, it's gonna get to steal from us, but I think not. You will wait your turn. 
It's not another not a bear sneaking up on us from the other side or anything. All right, I'm gonna wait for Todd to finish eating, but then we'll head off. I guess if this cougar wants to have the rest, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a minuscule amount, and we have territory to mark. Another nearby den, you say? Well, that's curious. Where is this one? Sniffing around. Have we passed it already? No, we're getting closer, though. Oh, right over here. Oh, it's a dirt den. Huh. We're still farther south than I'd like to be, but it's good to know that's there. All right. Well, we've been getting closer to claiming all the territory we need to. We'll have to go face off with, um, with Van Winkle a little bit, too. But at the least, we've gotten most of the territory we need to claim away from Lucky Claimed. And that's a good thing for us because our energy is definitely running low. I think Vixie is very ready for this long winter to come to an end. She's had precious little time for the telling of tales. She's been kept uh, run too ragged in, to do much more than lament over what this place used to be when her pack resided here. Maybe we'll try and steal this one last piece of territory back as well while we're here before finally heading to bed, but goodness gracious, Vixie is very worn out. That said, we're quite close to being ready to welcome our pups, and that's a good thing because I'm sure that spring is fast approaching here. And that is... That is something that Vixie, when she's less tired too, I think looks forward to with anticipation to finally get to meet her and Todd's puppies. But we will have to do that in the next episode because for right now, we just need to finish marking the territory and we have already run quite long today. So it is going to be time to leave off the episode here for today. I think it's getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.